and welcome to this week's Bay Demo. Now what I want to cover specifically is a whole yellow tail. Sliding a whole yellow tail and a lot of you might know how to rig it already. I will run through that but more specifically I want to touch on where do we use this, why do we use this and what trace specifically. How to make this bait effective in your hookup and when to use it. Now firstly a big bait like this I would specifically use where I know there's going to be big raggies that will swallow this whole bait. Even a big bronzy of 150 kilos will battle to swallow this. So if you use a whole, a whole yellow tail in an area and you get a nice pickup but you don't set the hooks, even if your hooks were proud, uh, you don't get a proper hookup, downsize your bait to a smaller yellow tail. Now another area where I'll specifically use it is like in Transkai or areas where there's a lot of pickers. Now in Transkai we also get the swimming crabs which is a problem, they take your bait off too quickly. So you will use this whole bait and they'll start picking at the soft areas so, because in my case I will cut the tail off to slide it better. So they'll start hitting the back. That will get some flesh out but this skin is quite tough so I won't, I won't uh, take the skin off in any way just the tail and slide that whole whole yellow tail and the reason for that is it will take the crabs and the pickers much longer to make that bait useless for a big fish to pick it up. So you can leave it out quite a bit longer. So that's the two applications. Another warning I want to put out there, in the Cape and areas where you know there's a lot of younger white sharks, they love a yellow tail and they will pick it up. In the cleaner water especially, when the water is dirty we don't get as many pickups from them then you can put out a whole yellow tail. Another bit of advice I want to give to everybody in Falls Bay and that whole area where there's abundance of yellow tail being caught. These are the import from New Zealand, it's farmed yellowtail we buy as bait with most of your tackle shops selling them and Atkin Marine is where I got these. Um, guys, if, if you want to stand out and you want to get a, bull, a pull much quicker, buy some of the local yellowtail, the Cape Town yellowtail. Now they're much bigger, they're three to five kilos when you buy them, so they're far too big for a bait, you'll have to trim it way down. You'll cut the head off and you'll trim the head in half and you'll only use that, but it will get you a bite much quicker in Falls Bay on the bronze whalers. If there's 50 guys on the beach, you'll, you'll have a pull for every other of getting a pull. So it really works using the local yellow tail, especially in Falls Bay. All right, but let's get to it today. Specifically what I want to touch, a big bait like this means you need to adapt your trace. Guys, first I want to touch on the heavy duty slide um, available at Kingfisher. Now this is a much thicker steel, heavier sinker and they've put this bead to prevent it from squashing up when you really pull hard, uh, a big fish very hard for a long period of time, our slides do squash up. Now this won't do it. So that's a heavy duty trace when you're fishing for bigger shots. Now guys this is a pre-made slide trace with a heavy duty slide like I mentioned. This is a three quarter inch weight they use on this. That makes it slide, especially off points, deep water spots, it's a good slide as well. But even off the beaches it works just as well. Now yeah, I use the Fishmate nylon coated steel and the minimum I would use on this is 200 pound going up to 400 pound for this particular trace. Just want to own. Now my hooks of choice, very importantly you need to use big hooks for this, for the size of your bait, it's a big bait. And the best hooks, in my opinion, that I use for bigger baits is the Mustad Catfish from a Tenno and bigger. Lovely hooks, you can see even for dangles, they're fantastic hooks. I make FMJ traces, the full metal jackets for casting. They take a dangle very nicely if you're not going to use a circle hook. But this is perfect. Now this gap, I normally make so it sits pretty much in the middle of the fish. This one is a bit short for the yellow tail but it will work for the purpose of demonstration but you can make it about that long with the hooks that's here. Alright, so that's pretty much how you'll do it. Now another thing you see or might notice what I do with my traces is the two hooks are 90 degrees from each other. So somewhere along the line when this pulls through the mouth of a, of a bigger shark one of them will hook. If they set both exactly the same and they go sideways and they don't hook uh, your chances are just less. If it does that, better but even less chances than having the 90 degree angle. So you tie it, tie it 90 degree. Now very simple, another thing you'll need, obviously your cot, uh, cotton we're not going to use in this application, but you'll need a toothpick or even a society stick with a bigger, with a bigger bead 
you can make yourself and have a couple of this in your box handy and that's to keep your hook proud very important now guys to start off before I hook this up very simple I trim the tail off you can trim half the tail but I'll just cut whole tail off and uh, put it aside now that's a nice nice whole bait it's streamlined and won't torpedo in the waves when you're taking it through the waves or swells it can wind up your trace it can wind it up with your main line and it's just havoc all right another thing you can do if the pickers or swimming crabs aren't too many in your area you can trim off the gills you'll just cut that gill plate off it will allow more blood to seep out of the head where most of your blood concentration sits otherwise just keep it whole like this and slide it exactly like that very simple I'm gonna look at my trace it's done this way so this hook will sit on this side this is your carrying hook your top hook on a slide trace carries the bait so it's gonna carry the weight and that you stick through the strongest part which is your nose and it will also keep it streamlined to get out much quicker all right very simple you place this hook and you can either just stick the toothpick now through the eye there and that will secure it nice and proud make sure that's full tension or I can measure it and see I must take it in there bring it out here all right so you'll stick it in there it will sit like that under the skin and then you just secure it with a toothpick and that you'll stick right through that's why sometimes I use society sticks they're much stronger than the toothpicks especially if your bait's still frozen you're gonna battle to get it in here but you can make an incision with your knife and just stick it way down in the frozen part deep enough so that two-thirds go in easily and the last bit you have to force and that's how you'll secure this bait for sliding obviously I'll leave this to, to defrost a bit outside before I hook it and slide it will get you a bite quicker if you want to slide it still frozen it will defrost rather quickly in the water so all of that will work I hope this video has helped you and maybe gave you some tips you can use to get better results and uh, watch next week where I'm going to do the same bait but in a flat bait